Hi, this is Jason with Atomic Disk, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a proper, scalable, vectorized file from your artwork to yield the best results when screen printing a t-shirt. The difference between a rasterized image and a vectorized image is represented here. I created a simple logo in Photoshop, which is above. Photoshop uses rasterization, which basically uses pixels to create images. Below it is the vectorized version of the file, and as you can see, the edges are really clean and crisp. There's no pixelization, and that's exactly what we need to be able to screen print a t-shirt from. So we're going to use a free online program called Vectorizer, and the address is vectorizer.io. You don't need an account with Vectorizer. Uh, they have a free version, which I believe limits you to about three images a day, and that's usually fine for most people. Um, here's the home page, and it starts with uh, just a prompt to upload your image. So I'm going to actually just take my black and white logo, and I'm going to drag it up here. So now that our image is uploaded, we have two windows here. We have an input window and an output window. The input window just simply shows what we uploaded. The output window is going to show us uh, the processed version of what we uploaded. So below the image, you've got some input options. Uh, you have a drop down here for the color model. And the program's pretty smart. It'll actually pick what's usually the best color model, but I'll just click on it so you can see the options. Uh, if, if we're uploading a photo, it should default to photo, but if it doesn't, you could select that. Uh, if you have something that represents more of a sketch, maybe a pencil drawing, you could try that. And with black and white, a black and white drawing, I haven't really found that to be uh, any different than the clip art setting personally. So I'm gonna stick with what they suggested, which is a clip art preset. Well, the drop down is the number of colors that the program detected. In this case, it detected, it says it detected three. It detected a little bit of gray, which is probably uh, some of the pixelization around where the black and white meet. Uh, it detected white, which is obviously in the image, and it detected black. So we're really just concerned with the black color. In this case, it doesn't give us the option of just black. So I'm going to actually select two colors, black and white. So that reprocessed the image, and now it just gave us two colors, black and white, the white background and the black image. So if I look underneath this window here, you can see the two colors are selected. If I select one of the colors, if I just click anywhere on it, you're going to see the colors show up below. And there's check marks by them. So if I wanted to remove the white background, which in this case, I'm going to because I might want to print this black logo on a gray t-shirt and that will enable the black text and the logo to just be printed over whatever color t-shirt I choose. So I'm just going to deselect the white and that's going to reprocess. So as you can see, it created a transparent background to remove the white. Here's a zoom tool here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the difference. Oh, look at the tiger's face here. You can see how my original was all jiggity jaggedy. It was a JPEG file. And on the right side, it's all nice and clean and crisp. And I could scale this as large as I wanted to go and it'll still look great. There are some other controls here, by the way, but the program is pretty smart. So the default settings usually will work 99% of the time. If you found that it was cutting part of the logo off or part of the text off, you could adjust this threshold control here and keep playing with the threshold up and down until you get all the image that you want to be vectorized. Once it looks good to you, we're just going to hit the vectorizing button. What that's going to do is create a final file for us, which in this case it's done. Now we just need to download our file. I'm going to hit the download button. And that downloaded and sent to my downloads folder. So now I'm going to show you how that image looks in our t-shirt designer when we bring it in. I'm going to go to our t-shirt page, our designing page. I'm going to select upload file. Browse for my image. And it just brings over a scaled version at the actual file size uh, onto the t-shirt. I'm going to move it up a little bit. I'm going to enlarge it. Zoom in on there just to see what it looks like. It looks good. 
Now I have control of changing the color because uh, the background's been removed and we're just getting the black ink. It shows that the ink color is black, but if I select that, I can change it to any one of the predefined colors from our chart that we have available. So there you have it, that's simple. Let's say we want to vectorize a two color image. I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So I'm gonna go back over to Vectorizer. I'm just gonna click on the logo to go home. So I created the same logo with some red and black. Drop that in. As you can see, the text now is in red and the tiger logo is in black. So if this were going to be a two color t-shirt, I need the black separated and the red separated and I need it to look really good. So Vectorizer analyzed it and it found all these colors here, all these it's basically shades of red and shades of black. I'm going to pick the closest thing to uh, just solid red, solid black, and white. In this case, it's the three color option. It's going to reprocess. And I'm going to zoom in. And as you can see, it did a really great job. And I want to remove the white background, so I'm going to click on... You can actually deselect them here, or if I click on it, I can see uh, the actual colors below as well. So you can deselect here or here. It does the same thing. I'll deselect the white. It's going to make my background transparent. I'm going to hit the Vectorize button. It's going to reprocess it, and now I'm going to download it. I'm going to go back over to our designer, upload file, and there it is there. Now, what it did is it brought over white and black. It's kind of confusing. Um, that doesn't really matter because I have control over changing the color now. So what it is supposed to be red is showing as white. If I click on the white under my ink color, I can go ahead and select the color red now. If I select the black, I could technically change the tiger to any color I want. Blue, pink. In this case, I'll keep it with black to keep it uh, similar to my original design. And there you have it. There's a two color, properly scaled, vectorized file that's gonna print great on any t-shirt. One thing to keep in mind is if you're not gonna be uploading any of your files and you're just gonna be using our designer where you're adding text and using built-in uh, graphics that we have on our library, you won't need to do anything with Vectorizer. Vectorizer is just for vectorizing rasterized files that you've created in your own programs like Photoshop. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.